apologize in advance. I'm actually using a uh, new selfie stick here, but um, this is a female um, Colombian boa, pure. Um, now these guys were not sold to me as Barankia. They are, um, I have a pair of them. They're actually uh, what's considered type Bs, but uh, these were produced by uh, Seth uh, Zelenik from localconstrictors.com. Um, I, I really need to bring them outside for you to really get a, uh, an appreciation of the color on these guys. I'm kind of experimenting before anybody says anything with um, with no, no substrate, but uh, this is the female and they are just really, really beautiful, beautiful boas. Um, I don't know if it's picking up the pink on the sides, but they're just really, really pretty. And um, obviously very laid back, very docile. Um, but the tails on these guys are just insane. So these go back to Rio Bravo stock. Um, the Barankia stuff is really, a lot of uh, people coin these as Barankia boas. But Branchia is just a locale in, in Colombia. Um, these are pure um, Colombian boas, and they were outcrossed with Branchia stock by, um, you know, Rio Bravo. Um, and actually, I should uh, kind of just read what Seth has on his website because um, he explains it a little bit better. I'm not like, I'm still kind of learning with a lot of these localities, but um, anyway, this is the female. I'll show you the male. I, I just, I really hope it's picking up the, the pinks on her. The male's insane. This is the male. He is super, super pink, like pastel even. Really, really pretty. Just completely like just gorgeous, gorgeous boas. It's late afternoon here, so I hope you guys can see the pinks on these, but they are just so, so pink. kind of see but they are just so so pink don't go falling I just love these boas look at that tail that's awesome gosh they're pretty so this is gonna go into my uh, my my branchia project I want to oh, crawling around on the camera kind of hard to not one to sit still for me but you guys get the idea, but I'm gonna, I've got a pair, so that gives me 2.2. And I'm gonna outcross these guys and breed them to my Colombian pair that's older. So this is the male, you guys just saw the female. Okay, so this is the male. This is my male Snoop, the Barankia. So basically what happened is Buddy Young from Rio Bravo Reptiles um, he wanted to outcross some of his branchia stock, so he bred his type B, which were also Colombian uh, boas, he bred them into his um, branchia locale. Um, just a different locality of the Colombian stuff that we have, and he called them honeybee because of the colors, you know, with the pastel and stuff like that. So. That's kind of what I'm doing. I've got some branchia stuff um, and I got these directly from uh, someone who took uh, Buddy's collection um, when he got out. So these came directly, I think these were actually produced by him 
my understanding is they were produced by him and the guys that used to own Habitat Systems, Bill Babcock specifically, he t took on a bunch of Buddy's stuff and including some litters that were already on the ground. And I bought a pair of, of those Barankia babies. So this is my male Snoop. Um, I'm gonna actually take the female out here in a second so you guys can see. These guys always want to eat, but they're really, really easy to handle. So um, pretty tractable boas. They don't get super big. Um, you guys know I'm a, I'm a big, big advocate for these guys. So anyway, um, and you'll notice perches, uh, believe it or not, um, boas do climb. Um, even some of the big ones will climb. Not as much as, as they do when they're smaller, but they still do uh, climb and they have those arboreal tendencies. So anyway, I'm gonna grab the female right now. So this is my female here. Um, she is, you guys know I love this girl. This is Shakira. <laughs> um, getting a little bit stronger. I'm hoping that maybe by next year I can pair these guys up, um, her with Snoop, but lots of pastel and orange. Um, really, really vibrant, pretty, you know, like a rust color, um, tail, um, perfectly symmetrical in my opinion, just beautiful, beautiful boa. And she's got lots of pink blushing around the mouth. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but just a really, really beautiful animal. Um, she's starting to, hey, relax. Never even struck at me, never bit me before. Watch this be the, the one time. <laughs> but uh, these guys are just really, really cool boas. Um, if you're looking for a boa constrictor that is not going to get like huge and that isn't gonna take a, a swipe at you, um, these guys are definitely a, a, a species to consider. Um, you know, I have seen a lot of the morph stuff out there and a lot of it just, I mean, just isn't that pretty in, in my opinion. Um, now some of them are, but I just really like these, um, these boas, these, these locality boas and they just, you know, they're impressive enough to where you, you feel, you feel them when you're holding them, you know, you've got a, a fairly strong snake with you, uh, in your hands, but, um, they're not going to be something that you really have to worry about. And like, I would let kids hold these guys. Um, obviously I would be there, but, uh, they've never showed any signs of aggression to me. And I've had them since they were babies. Um, you might hear my dogs. I've got Bodie and Harley out here sniffing me, but, um, I also wanted to take a few minutes, um, on a separate topic. And I wanted to, you know, I don't know if, um, so I did want to talk about Brian Barczyk, uh, for a few minutes. Um, I don't know if he has passed or if he hasn't passed. I know he's in hospice care. Um, and I just wanted to offer condolences, um, to his family and, uh, well wishes to his family. Um, also to him, if he's still with us, but, um, you know, I, I have known Brian for a long time and, um, I remember, uh, when my, my wife has had some health issues and when she first got, uh, diagnosed with her, her stuff, Brian reached out to me and, um, you know, asked if, if there was anything he could do. And I remember I was having kind of a rough go, um, earlier in 2023, which Brian had just been diagnosed with his uh, cancer. And Brian said, you know, Hey, if you ever need someone to talk to, just reach out. And I just kind of thought like, here it is, here he is the guy that's, you know, got a, a fairly, I mean, any cancer is bad, but pancreatic cancer is aggressive. Um, and 
he was offering to, to give me any type of, you know, just, he was just, you know, he texted me and basically was like, hey, just call me if you need anything, you know, if you want it, need an ear. And I was just like, dude, like, I should be the one offering that to you. Even though I know he has like a bajillion people that he could contact if he wanted to, you know. Um, but that's just how Brian was, you know. I, I know a lot of people uh, dislike his methods or his the way, you know, he did things with his blog. And that's okay. A lot of people dislike the way I do things too. I don't really care. Um, everybody has their own way. And I, I'll even be the first to say that some, some of Brian's earlier stuff, I wasn't a huge fan of, um, because I felt like there was a little too much sensationalism in there. But having known Brian for a long time and having chatted with him many times off camera, behind closed doors, um, Brian genuinely had a love for wildlife. Uh, he, he loved animals, uh, specifically reptiles. And as far as I can tell, he was the first guy to see YouTube as a way to share that passion and, you know, bring it out of the basement, as I like to say, and to the masses. Um, you know, uh, there was Steve Irwin back before we had computers and we had computers, but back before, you know, we were as advanced with the internet and stuff as we are now. And then you have Brian who took that um, and, and really, really went, ran with it. And, uh, you know, he, he didn't start making money right out the gate, you know? So it's not like it was something that was just a get rich quick, quick scheme. Um, but, you know, I, I really do think that uh, despite some of the things that people like to rag on Brian for, um, he did a lot more good than that. And he was a really good dude if you got a chance to know him. And um, I just, you know, I just get a little bothered when people who haven't really had firsthand experience with him, or, or this goes with anything, jump on that bandwagon and they start, you know, coming out with their pitchforks and it's like, you don't really know what you're talking about. Um, if you've had firsthand experiences and something went south, I get it, but like 98% of the people that are pounding the drum for, you know, being super negative and everything like that, those are people that have never really taken a chance to get to know someone or given them a chance to, you know, to, to show you what they're all about. So anyway, I just wanted to say that I think Brian, um, is slash was an amazing person. Um, he's not perfect. None of us are, uh, but I, I see him as someone who really brought reptiles into the homes of a lot of people, people that, you know, followed him and kids that grew up watching him that are now adults and getting their own snakes and breeding their own animals because they loved watching Brian when his, when snake bites TV first started. So that's commendable. That's awesome. It's inspirational. I consider Brian a friend and I uh, really, really think what he's done with the reptarium and with legacy aquarium, um, is nothing short of amazing and I have all the the confidence and optimism for his family and his friends and his crew that he's kind of looked, turned that over to um, I think that they'll they'll make something great out of it I mean it already is great but they'll just continue to to expand and build on what Brian started so um, you know Brian, thanks for everything. This is just my little shout out and me just saying that I'm going to miss you. And I, um, it was a pleasure, uh, being a friend to you. And, um, it was a pleasure being able to see the reptarium, um, and what you, what you built out of it. 
and um, anyway, that's basically it. I've been really uh, short um, with my videos. I haven't been doing them very much. Uh, my wife was in the hospital all last week. Um, we're dealing with some health issues of our own. She's got a spinal cord surgery coming up and um, I just really haven't had the bandwidth or the desire to do much with my videos. I'm in need of back surgery that involves screws and rods. So, you know, I'm kind of a mess myself, but uh, trying to get my wife, uh, Marissa, in a, in a better place um, so that she can function and take care of me whenever that time comes. So uh, that's just kind of what, but what's been going on. I'm, I'm, I've consolidated my collection quite a bit. I've thinned out some projects. Um, I'm basically working with two pairs of these Colombian boas, and I've got a couple pairs of ball pythons that are just um, pied hypo and clown combos because those are the three that I just like. Um, if I produce anything with them, they'll probably be wholesaled out. And everything else I have, they're all Amazon Trubos. Um, I held back a, a portion of what I produced this litter or this year, and um, that's kind of where my head's at. So that's what's been going on. Um, I'm going to be here for 2024. I'm going to be putting videos out as much as possible um, they may not be weekly but if i have the time and i have content then i will do my best to put them out every week uh, because i have gotten feedback from people who watch the videos that have been um, very appreciative and in turn that makes me really grateful because i'm a nobody i'm just a guy that likes snakes and to see that People enjoy me showing off my animals and um, sharing my experiences is, is quite humbling. Uh, but um, anyway, that's, uh, that's it in a nutshell. So anyway, if you guys have gotten this far in the video, I thank you from the bottom of my heart and I appreciate the support and uh, I will uh, see you guys, I guess, here pretty soon. Uh, I'll try and get some updates of some of the Amazons that I've got tucked away here and, and show you how they're progressing. Everyone's doing really well, feeding, shedding, doing great. So I'll, uh, I'll see you guys again here soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like. It's, it, it all is appreciated. Peace. Oh, and Happy New Year.